Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as I try to look for traps around here. Ooh, there's a trap right there. Uh, I think I'm, I'm basically gonna throw a fireball up there at that platform. I'm not really sure if we're gonna hit somebody. There's... what is that? I don't know what that is. There we go. Send it. Okay. Then we got one. Fireball for a single guy. Seems a huh, fair trade. You're a queer fellow. Uh, so yeah, this map, as I said last episode, this approach here, we're in level two of the Dirt Lax Tower. Yeah, that's a, that's a dragon right there, or something. Um, so yeah, so we're in level two right now. We're coming. We have come back here to try and. Uh, oh, there's more skeletons over there. That means they're attacking. That's bad. Uh, that's bad because I can't go forward because of traps. Uh, that's one of the problems of the, uh, well, that's probably, definitely, oh, he's, ca he's casting this spell? Was that a dispel? I, I think that was a dispel thing. So I need to unequip and just do all this stuff here in case some of these spells something or something. No, there's nath nothing actually happens. That's Nature okay. Servant awaits. Let's cast this on her, and uh, she's gonna go forward and hopefully not get shot by any more skeletons. Uh, so we have to come back here to the second level because I wanted to see and gain some experience and gain some items as well. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, so what we need here is a fireball, if I have any. And I do, uh, but it's gonna take... It's gonna take something Evil else. Around every corner. I want to cast a fireball. Please don't miss. That was cast fireball. Wild surge slowed. On everybody, actually. Oh, that didn't. Oh no! Wait a minute! You didn't cast that. You cast the wrong spell, you dumbass. Cast it again. Let's go. Let's go. Where is it? There it is. That's the fireball. Please, no wild surge. I could use the shield. Oh no, you didn't! You destroyed my gold! Oh, so many gold! So much gold destroyed! No, that's a bad thing. That's a- no, I, I, I don't accept that. That's not fine. Yeah, that, that was- that's what I was afraid of, actually, with a wild surge. And that's the only thing that- well, that and changing sex. Because of, of- because of romance options and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna go with another fireball there. There are so so many places I would rather be. How about at the end of this fireball? Hmm? Held. Damn it. This I, I need I need the I need the shield. Let's cast the shield there. Oh man. Let's cast the shield. So the shield is hopefully it's gonna the shield doesn't really I don't think the shield prevents a wild surge. He just cast entangled on on himself while casting a shield. Man, it's just that's bad luck. That's bad luck. Okay, spell cast. There we go. Okay, so the shield doesn't actually prevent a wild surge. It just makes it uh, less likely for there to be um, um, a nasty effect. Please. Silence instead. On you! Ugh. Okay, send him one in. Forget about that guy. Holy crap! This is terrible! Oh, she got it. She got it. Get, come back. No! No, no, no. She's gonna die. Yeah, she's dead. She is definitely dead. Okay, so we're gonna need to rest. Let's do that instead. Because there's no downside to resting. So just go ahead and, and rest. And now that we know where the enemies are and where the traps are as well, I'm just gonna murder them all. As they deserve. So we have three fireballs to throw. And that's one right there. That's gonna kill three skeletons. And we're gonna have another one over there. That's gonna kill hopefully three more. Yeah, three more. I think they have different ranks or something because they give different like, amount of experience. Uh, and that was that was good. Okay, let's take all of these. They should. Oh yeah, they have different arrows as well. That's kind of cool. Okay, get all of that. Man, so much stuff. And how about this side? I think I might have gotten them already. Nope, not all. Okay, just save the game there and let's continue because you need to look for traps. Over on this side, what do we have? We have nothing on this side. There's the trap. Man, that thing is huge. That is exactly what... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Arrow, arrow of the spelling. I'm keeping those over there. Arrow of acid. Put that one over there. Arrow of ice. That one goes... Where? Mm, you don't have space for that. Man, so many arrows. So many arrows. And more of those. I think I probably need to start using these more. Oh! 
dumbass. Don't do that. Okay. Save the game there. I think it happened. It okay. I think they're all dead. I think everything is good. It was troublesome. It uh I that was the fireball thing at the north. Don't worry, that wasn't bad. That was good. Okay, get some of that over there. Man, I'm so overburdened with arrows. So overburdened. Oh my god. Um, we're gonna use them instead. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch that. I'm gonna start using those. Uh, okay, so let's come this way. Detect traps, please. That's fine. That's okay. And that's the trap right there that I was looking for. Oh, and unthink it. Okay, let's go up here. Also save the game. And open that thing. Please, no traps. Thank you. Yeah, you can imagine how tough this place is. You just need to keep running and get... And the tra yeah, it is a really, really bad approach. How if you have the fireballs, you can... If you can get rid of the first... Where are you going? Where the hell is she going? Uh, so, yeah, you can... If you can get rid of the first room, you can do it with the fireballs without much problem. But apart from that, that's the only strategy, really. So... <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Uh, I'm gonna start using these, because they are pretty common. I'm also gonna start using... What? Too far away? No, it's not. Oh, she's back there. Okay, it is. Uh, I'm also gonna start doing these for these guys. So I have not a whole lot of plus one arrows. Uh, that is fine, because I'm gonna do it like so. Uh, so Khalid is gonna do this, and she's gonna give them some fire arrows right there. And these go away, because I don't need them. And that goes right there, and he doesn't indeed have... No, don't... Uh, there we go, that's what I wanted, just to select that. And that's what I wanted, just to select it as well. And I think we're good. I think we're perfect. I could also use these, but apart from that, everything seems... And, and the, the magic-related spell uh, things I'm keeping around here. Also, I brought some bullets if... Uh, oh, we're... Oh, yeah, that's right, we're attacking with things. I brought some bullets... I bought some bullets... Um, in between episodes, last episode, uh, or in between last episode and the other one before that, so yeah, that's why I have so many plus one bullets around here, and plus two and plus one, uh, and normal ones as well. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go down to level three, and level three is actually, I, I did this, in, uh, I did this off camera, so I know what awaits us. Level three is actually an interesting way to go down there, because you can't actually, there's no passage, there's no passage down to level three, you need to get back here, and uh, hopefully not kill anybody, because that didn't happen. There we go, that's the one. And, uh, yeah, we're basically teleported here to this chess place without any loading any new area or anything. So, and there we go. And we're down to level 3. Duralag is right there. We have Elian, Zelane over there or something. And we have the rest of the stuff that we need to look for and explore waiting for us. So let's go back here and let's continue our adventure that we left here a couple of episodes ago. Uh, and hopefully we're gonna get to the bottom of this place and uh, actually that was the the level two I was more afraid of uh, I was afraid of it. I mean it went very well for what I was expecting It really did. I mean it, we, we got our asses ended to us with a couple of, of those uh, uh, Wyverns, but apart from that, I mean I knew the wyverns were gonna be terrible, but apart from that everything kind of went swimmingly it was fine so, yeah, so we have this place over here. We have a uh, greater ghoul waiting for us. Two greater ghouls waiting for us. No! Okay, he's now diseased or whatever that is. He's now held as well. Please kill. Please kill. No, please don't get held. Please don't get held. And he's dead. Okay. It's not bad. We did spend a bunch of time upstairs, so it's it's kind of expected that these guys would respawn. Although I, I'm pretty sure they respawn. Time? Doesn't matter how much time you spend. Uh, let's bring you down here. I don't think there's gonna be anything in there. Let's send her over there, and let's see if Minsk can pick up something from here. Some money. Money's good. By the way, let me look at the money. Yeah, I just lost... I lo I think I lost 80,000 gold with that wild surge. 80,000 gold. <laughs> yes? <laughs> yes, indeed, yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. Um, okay, so let's bring you guys here. Let's get this stuff. That's... Okay, that's good. Let's go over there. I don't think I'm gonna need the wyvern heads. Yes, I know it hurts. So target gone for Khalid. Oh yeah, because it's... Uh, can I help you? Okay, so you're gonna go over there. And I think we're gonna wait back here, actually. No, you not. You don't do that. Because there might be enemies over there, and I think I'm gonna bring Minsk. Are there any enemies around here? Not that I can see. Okay, so let's send her instead. 
<laughs> Once, okay, that's fine. And look for traps. Because this place doesn't look like it has anything for us. Oh, he does. It does. Okay. Let's you send Khalid up me? here. Yeah, I have need of you. And there's traps right there. No! Okay, it's fine. You do your thing. Let's see if that thing is locked as well. That is not. Okay. So let's send you. Away. Let's see if I can get something from here. Ooh, nice stuff in here. Nice stuff. Oh, Jahira didn't take damage. And we got a secret place over here. Let's bring you and let's bring you. And I think that is that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to wait for... Yeah, okay. Wait for them. Let's get this in there. This in there. See if she can identify this. She's pretty smart. She has some pretty serious lore, uh, I think. Where's her, What's her lore score? Uh, so she has got spell... Where's it? Where's that? Where the hell's the lore? Oh, 31. Yeah, she's pretty good. 41. Yeah, she's, she's pretty nice. These are probably... Yeah, they're not going to be able to be identified like so. I'm going to cast a couple of spells here. And you can tell now that you can identify it with a scroll by using this. And we have the Burning Earth plus one. That is a katana, I think, maybe? It is a long sword. It does... Okay, so it's ver versus uh, two... Uh, it's a plus two versus regenerating creatures. Plus three versus cold using creatures. And plus four versus undead. Undead. This is amazing. This is amazing. This sword is awesome. Against undead, that is. And that's going to be used by him. Uh, and I think I was keeping... That's a, a beige, uh, mage... Uh, oh, this is a versus three versus undead. So there's no real point in using this one instead. So we're just going to use that one right there. Oh, man, that's a flaming sword. He has a flaming sword now. I mean, it, it's called the Burning Earth. So it makes sense that it would be... Oh, Staff of Striking. Plus three. What the hell is that? So it's a normal quarter staff. But the thing about it is that it has charges. And the charges are... It's a plus three staff. It's actually very, very good. Uh, are made by the gold elves of the Drelagara of Ever Evermeet. The staves have a life of their own and jump to attack in their bearers' hands. The elven craftsmen readily sell them to other races, but these powerful melee weapons do surface occasionally in Faerun. However, each attack made with a staff uses a charge, causing it to consume itself when no charges remain. So it is a pretty crappy weapon, all things considered. So we're going to need to sell it. Uh, why they wouldn't sell it, though? I don't... I mean, probably because it's not expensive enough. It, since it is so crappy, How I wouldn't buy it. Assistance? I definitely... It's just as a plus three staff. I don't need that. Who wants some? Okay, so I'm going to need to heal you up. Oh, man. Look at him. He's down to... Si Actually, he's, he doesn't have... He's not missing that much health. It was missing about 22, I guess. So I thought... I thought I was going to say that. Look at how injured he is, but his you health doesn't represent it. I punch. Because he has so much health. Uh, so let's see. Minsk. Please don't step in any trap. I hear something. I heard something. Nothing. I think I heard something over there. Send her in. Because you never know with the, with the traps and all that. Okay. There's nothing here. This actually loops back over there. But not before to find some interesting places, I don't think. Oh, yeah. I was expecting that. I was definitely expecting that. I am also expecting a secret passage over there. But it apparently is not the case. Let's bring her over here. And let's see if we can... Oh, another one. Yeah, traps. Traps. That's normal. That's okay. Nothing. Okay, so we're going to bring everybody over here. Except for her. She's going to continue looking for traps. Oh, there's a trap right there. What is that? Is that the secret passage? I think it might very well be. Please find stuff. I don't know. It's not. I don't know what it is though. What the hell is that? It's like a. It looks like a some some sort of slabs that came down from the ceiling and. What the hell's that? There was spells being uncast, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, what the hell was that? Okay, we can bring everybody down here. This is not tense at all. It's perfectly fine. It's all good. It's all perfect. Uh, okay, we have something here. What is that? This door can only be opened through the use of special, of a special wardstone. Which wardstone it is? Well, I don't care. I do know that on the other side... Uh, I don't care because I have them all. That's what I mean. I do know that on the other side, there's terrible things. Yes. 
I... There are terrible things in here. I know that. Do I? I might not. Might not know it at all. Oh, that's that's it. That's it right there. Ooh, 13,000 gold right there and a bunch of gems. I will take those. Uh, but first, I don't need that one. Come on. And that's a short, a short sword plus one. I don't need that either. Uh, so let's just bring that into Minsk's inventory and just keep getting the gems. I think some of these... They're all the types of gems, I think, in the game. Or something. Because they're... Look at that, how many there are. Oh, that's the one. The rogue stone. The rogue stone is so pretty. I'm going to look at its description gleefully. And that's going to be the last one I get as well. Because, of course, it matched. It matched. And put those all in there. It's a lot of treasure in there. This is their lag's throne for sure. A small shifting rainbow colored iridescent gemstone. The fluid shakes of col the fluid shades of color appear almost liquid under normal sunlight. It is truly a beautiful sight to behold. Rogue stones are extremely rare and are used for the gem jump spell, hence one of the most sought after gems in the realm. I don't think we can cast that spell though. Uh, I think it's just something that you need in in the in the lore for casting of that particular spell. I'm not really sure what that spell is all about though. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there are some reagents that are needed in some spells in this game, uh, but I wouldn't know too much about them. Let's see. Let's talk more fight. See there, Minsk. Oh. Um. Hi. Okay. Let's get into position here. Send Minsk. Uh, actually, let's not send Minsk. Let's send yeah, Khalid. See what this stone golem has to say. We came to kill, but not without reason. We were here before, as were the tentacles. Their underground- that's the Ili the Ilithids. Uh, their underground was near, and the tower intruded on their expansions. As well, the bait was too, too great to pass. The dwarves did not hide their wealth, did not stop the rumors of waist-deep gold. The invaders came and still come, but not without invite. We came to kill, but not without reasons. So... I'm not really sure what the reasons were, though. Uh, it's the fear, though, right? We came to kill, but not without reasons. That's the fear. But why would you... Was, no, that was the Helithids. I'm not really sure, though. I'm actually getting a little bit confused about this whole operation. Uh, there was no warning, but it would not have helped. There was no need to prepare for hard times, because hard times would never come. We were armed, we were assured... And so we believed. The Great Tall Killer was our provider, and we would protect. And he would protect us. We put down our swords to live the life he always wanted. We lived as family. Suspicions were for outsiders. Guards and weapons were for wartime. There was no warning, but it would not have helped. So these were the family. They got attacked by the Ilithids. And then... No. Got attacked by the... He got attacked by the doppelgangers. We were here before, as were the tentacles. Their underground was near the tower into Yeah, I think these guys... I think the... I don't know, though. Who, who came before? The Illithids or... Let's see. We crafted as we were told, but built this. we built this place to prevent all from entering. We have trapped every inch of every step and made sure that to enter meant death. We have killed many over time, though it is not our will. It is all to protect against the repeat of the past. Though the challenges ensure it will repeat. Hmm. A mountain to climb, a river to cross, because it is there they will come. We crafted as we were told. So those were the craftsmen that came after the stone golems appeared. Or rather, the, the doppelgangers appeared. Let's have a chat with this guy and see what happens. Uh, this is the end of things. Here I stood and struck them down as they came. My family and my clan with their false faces. The doppelgangers. Yeah, they dropped all pretense and drew their weapons against me. I fought them to the last, killing the shape changers that had taken their forms. I cursed them for destroying the dream, but they were not the real evil. The real evil could not save my people before this deception. The real evil hid from life in the face of this tragedy. The real evil deserves the blame. This is the end of things. Answer where blame has fallen. So the invaders who attacked mercilessly uh, and on your people who would uh, could not defend themselves. No. The craftsmen encouraged you and egged, uh, egged you egged you. Ooh, that's a... That's, I, hmm. I, I, th I know that word but 
I keep forgetting that it is a verb. Uh, so you are, I think it, I, I might be mistaken though. So you are without blame. No, the blame begins with the invaders. Your people are without blame because the invaders were unstoppable. Oh, maybe this, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, the craftsmen encouraged you and egged you on, so you are without blame. Your people demanded too much from you, so you are without blame. That's not true. The blame begins with the invaders, but they attacked with sub supposed good reason. It could be on your people, but they were in the, shel in the shelter of your confidence. The craftsmen only did their jobs as directed. In their eyes, you are the only one to blame for all that happened. That might be true. Let's see. Your people are without blame because of the, the invaders were unstoppable. The invaders are not to blame because they were fighting for survival. The craftsmen just did their jobs and you could not foresee the attack, so you are free also. <clears throat> None are to blame in your eyes. In his eyes? I think he is to blame. Your people must have sh uh, must share blame for their inability to fight. And the crafters must share blame for their uh, willingness to encourage you. You must share blame because you began it all. The invaders are not to blame, for they did what is in their nature to do. The invaders are to blame for the slaughter of your people and should be blamed for the helplessness they felt. They also contributed to, the, to your hiring of the craftsmen, so they are indirectly to blame for the tower as it stands. They are the true evil in your eyes. Damn it, I don't know. I have no idea. I thought it was the fear, but this is a different subject. So we came to kill but not without reasons. We were here before, as were the tentacles. So we came to kill but not without reasons. So they are not to blame. There was no warning, but it would not have helped. So these guys have also... are Nobody's to blame, I don't think. He would be the one to blame, maybe. Um, so in your eyes, you are the one to blame for all that happened. Yeah, that's this is the one. This is the one. Let's go with that one. You have understood, he says. Okay, there we go. I was right. You may yet survive what I could not. And we get teleported. Sometime. What is it this time? Oh. That is not all. That is not all. There is something else up there. Let's have a chat with him and see if he says anything new. Durlag the Troll Killer. You will survive this place. You understand what built the hate, the fear. Now you must prevent it becoming worse. A creature below, powerful beyond all. You must remove, or it shall make this place its own. Such a fortress, impenetrable if made in his image. Um. Uh. Yeah, I do not wish to make this fight mine. Why should I really care? The fight becomes the concern of all. A new power threatens, upsets balance and measure. The way is clear. Do as you wish. Follow me. No! Oh. He's gonna lead us to where I wanted to go. Actually, I, I thought I thought he might have teleported us uh, away from here, which uh, would have been bad, but I think it's just gonna open that door. Uh, so if he had teleported us, I would have to reload and go and open that door somehow. I'm not really sure how I, I would have done it. I was actually counting on one of the wardstones doing it. But I think he's gonna be the one. He's gonna be reunited with his wife, I think, his ghost. Yeah, his lane is right there. And I... Th is he gone? He's gone. His lane, do you have anything new to say? Um, yeah, she's the one that teleports us away. I think... I wonder if the stairs are gonna lead us back to level 3. Um, okay, let's open this thing. We got a throne. We got somebody else. Claire Delane. Stop where you are. I have a bow trained on your neck and you'll not leave to reach me. Calm down. I'm not your enemy. Who are you? Who am I? I am an idiot who thought I could assault this tower like it was some pissant cobalt warren. You are a like-minded fool then. Best you, make sh uh, best you make your will if you intend to stay. My fellows went forward but a short ways while I re rested here after a blow to the head. Dead they are and we will follow. My name is Claire Delane and I... I should be dead. Uh, yeah, you must not give hope. Yep, we yet leave, and that means all is not lost. Hope? I lost hope when I heard their scream and knew that I could not help. I cannot even attempt to cr the creature. I cannot even attempt the creature that is come that is to come. Have you not seen or heard? The worst is that it did not even bother to lift a finger itself. They fought themselves, or monster shaped as such. I suppose it was fitting, given the history of this place. Don't speak to me of hope. My friends are dead. Uh, so perhaps you are not up to the task, but I am still here and willing. If they leave, perhaps I can save them. You have no idea what is ahead, do you? It is a demon knight. A demon knight. Oh, I fought those. That's fine. 
Uh, it demonites such a thing is as rare as it is evil. Alone, it could destroy all of you. I think we fought one of those. Didn't we fought? No, we didn't. That's the demon knight we saw upstairs. That's right. That's right. Okay. So that thing is going to kill us all. Well, it, it was kind of scripted that I couldn't kill him upstairs. I think we are going to be able to do something here. But anyway, let's see what this Claire Delane has to say. Alone, it could destroy all of you. But that's only if it decides you are worthy of its efforts. My friend... My friends went ahead and challenged it like it was some shambling skeleton and it laughed at them. It didn't even bother to lift its sword. Hmm, such overconfidence will prove its downfall. I assure you, this creature is only as confident as its, as its power warrants. You don't know what happened in there. You don't know. Th then tell me straight, what happened to your friends? Okay, so they entered and challenged it, and it stared and did nothing. For a moment, they didn't know what to do, and then it made a simple gesture with its end, and all the hells broke loose. It created doubles of them all, and laughed as they, as they literally killed themselves. I heard Dalton screaming loudest, I think he actually killed this double, but couldn't handle the fact that he had to. It was the youngest. They didn't know, and they missed the, the one shot they may have had. So, I need to kill- ah, that's fine, that's- I, I think it's gonna be fine. And what- then what is this one shot of which you speak? You have already said that you think the creature cannot be beaten. Oh, if I, I've had I've had some time to think about it, I couldn't go forward and I couldn't go back the way we came. That thing in there might even know I'm out here. I doubt it cares, but something it said made me think. The mirror of opposition is used. Yeah, uh, the mirror of opposition it used must be very powerful. Maybe it's powerful enough to do the same thing to the demon knight itself. The legends I've heard is that um, that they have some resistances, but who knows with. Who knows with magic, the rules are not always carved in stone. Hmm, so I should find the mirror and turn it on him? That sounds easy. I know, I, I doubt the mirror will be easily accessible, and even if it is, you may be expected as well. I got a peek at the room, and it is not large. Everyone inside may be affected. Okay, so you roll your dice and you take your chances. Timora, be with us. I'll give it a shot. Good luck then. I... I'm not going in. I can't. Okay, so you're just gonna stay there, Claire. I'll not let this girl. place take me. Okay, yeah. I, I thought it was gonna be a girl. I, of course, I gave it a man's voice, but yep. you know, it's, it's fine. A boy's voice, anyway. And we got a trap over here that we... Oh, 40. That was good. Uh, I think all the traps are 40, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, and we got a cloak of something. That's a cloak of... Uh, Oh, it is a cloak of shield. It gives uh, armor class plus 5 versus missiles and plus 1 versus attacks. Oh, but that is a charged thing, I think. So let's see. This cloak protects a sphere, projects a sphere of energy that protects the wearer from missile weapons. It also slows melee weapons somewhat. Does it actually work on Q, or does it need to be equipped each time you want to use it? It's not there. It is here. Yeah, you need to use it right there. Okay, perfect. That's good. So I might use that instead of this thing. This is polymorph into wolf at will. I think somebody will be able to use it. There we go. Khalid. Actually, it's going to be Jahira. Because she's a little bit more in tune with nature itself. So we got a bit How of a problem. Of we have a demon knight to contend with. We also have a throne room and uh, a scared little lady that has told us... What might be about to happen. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Baldur's Gate. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.